uh, the kind of big thing mm-hmm. that's going on this week uh, is the Supreme Court hearing uh, arguments by the DOJ basically saying that they're the reason they should be able to classify these as felonies of their interrupting proceedings is because of a certain thing. And then their arguments are absolutely ridiculous because everything they're arguing equally affects all of the interruptions that the left does in protests all the time. Mm. So it, it, it's, it's a fairly long um, argument, but we'll break it down. We'll go through it and break it down as we go along. Um, but it is funny because it's absolutely insane how she's arguing this. And it might sound convoluted, but it makes sense when you think about it. Because uh, Gorsuch actually <laughs> actually calls her out on it. It's hilarious. ...relationship between C1 and C2 and make clear that C2 does not cover the conduct that's encompassed by C1. <clears throat> now, I acknowledge that there were... Beyond any- that, beyond that, beyond saying, okay, C1 does some things and the whole rest of the universe of obstructing, impeding, or or influencing is conducted by C2. Is that a fair summary of your view? Yes, but there was a good reason for Congress to do it this way. Well, it I, traces I understand. to the I statutory just, ha- yeah, history. I, I understand and, that. And I would just I, say I, that- I, If I might, um, so, so what, what does that mean for the breadth of this statute? Um, would a sit-in that disrupts a trial or access to a federal courthouse qualify? Would a heckler in today's audience qualify or at the State of the Union address? Would pulling a fire alarm uh, uh, before a vote qualify for 20 and so for and he goes, years yeah. in federal prison? For 20 years in federal prison. So all those things that he mentioned are things that the left has done, not only like recently, but always do, right? Yep. So remember Jamal Bowman, the congressman that didn't want a vote to happen, so he pulled the fire alarm, which yeah. was... And lied about in their it. opinion. Yeah, and he and lied, lied about, about it. it. Yeah. It was on camera and he lied about it. Like, really, man? <laughs> right? Right? Or or the fact that they did a sit-in uh, in Congress or they do uh, obstruction of uh, court proceedings in federal buildings all the time. How about the fact that they they actually occupied a federal building in uh, Portland with armed, gu- with armed insurrectionists, but none of them have been charged for that? Of course not, because they're on the left. Right? So, like, he's going to call out the the two tier su- uh, system of justice. That's what he's doing right now, and then she's going li- to listen to her argument. She's going to argue that they're not the same. Oh God, this is going to. There make me... are multiple elements of the statute that I think might not be satisfied by those hypotheticals, and it relates to the point I was going to make to the Chief Justice about the breadth of this statute. Uh, the the kind of built in limitations are the things that I think would potentially suggest that many of those things wouldn't be something the government could charge or prove as 1512c2 beyond a reasonable doubt. Would include the fact that the actus reus does require obstruction, which we understand to be a meaningful interference. So that means if you have interference. some minor disruption or delay. Or or some minimal outburst. Okay, we don't so, think it falls so within the my, outburst. My outbursts require uh, uh, the court to, 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 to reconvene after, after um, the, the proceeding has been brought back into line, or uh, the, the pulling of the fire alarm, the vote has to be rescheduled. Which it or, did. Or uh, the, the protest outside of a courthouse makes it inaccessible for a period of time. Are those all federal felonies subject to 20 years in prison? So with some of them, it would be necessary to show nexus. So with respect to the protest outside assume, the courthouse, we'd can, have to show that, think, yes, they I were aiming I've at shown, the proceeding. I, yeah, they were trying to stop the proceeding. Yes, and then we'd also have to be able to prove that they acted corruptly, and this sets a stringent mens rea. It's not even just the mere intent to obstruct. We have to show that also, but we have to show... Direct action committees that the left routinely puts on instructs people what to do when they're going to get arrested because they know that they're impeding on something and causing an illegal action and knowingly instruct people how to deal with the police and how to get away from them. So they have criminal elements. They know they're doing wrong and they intentionally Mm -hmm. are interfering with proceedings. Yep. (laughs) These people do this all the time. (laughs) It's so insane to me, but she's saying it's not the same. It's totally not the same. Uh, uh, <laughs> so, everything they're doing, like you said, everything they're doing, if you put the same con- conduct up to something yep. they claim the right did, same way, they're saying the right 
is not the same, even though it's the same thing. Same if you look at yeah. it, the optics, mm -hmm. the optics same, same exact. This one is the, they're not the same. What makes them different? I exactly. know we're going to say the left because it's the left. That's that's the obvious answer. But does she explain this is why they're not the same? No. Uh, <laughs> she just says they're not the same. This is what I had corrupt intent in acting in that way. We and went around that tree yesterday. I, I know. I, I, uh, I heard the argument yesterday. But I guess what I would say is that to the extent that your hypotheticals are pressing on the idea of a peaceful protest, even one that's quite disruptive, it's not clear to me that the government would be able to show that each of so those protesters had corrupt intent. So mostly peaceful protests that actually obstructs and impedes an, in, an official proceeding for an indefinite period would not be covered? Not necessarily. A mostly peaceful protest. Where have we heard that that term before? <laughs> mostly peaceful. Oh my right? god, dude! Like, just because we fired on a courthouse doesn't show that we have any criminal intent on uh, disrupting a proceeding at all. Okay, listen to the buzzwords. Right, we we heard the buzzword that we've heard yeah. for many years. Mostly peaceful. And you know, the, you, I'm the conspiracy theory guy, and you know, words are spells. Words have meanings. Yeah. So whenever they keep using that term. They'll say you'll hear them say it or mostly peaceful. And then you talk yeah. to some some smooth brain monkey on the street. They'll they'll regurgitate the same thing. Mostly peaceful protests. So if it's mostly yeah. peaceful, but it was more violent than this protest, why is this protest on over here on the right? Worse than this one on the left. So this one was violent. It's mostly peaceful, but it was more violent than this one on the right. Yeah. How does that make sense? doesn't because the right goes straight to jail for years yeah, yeah. Necessarily, we would just have to have the evidence of intent and that's a oh, no, they, I, 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 they, they intend right. to do it all right yes if they intend to obstruct and we're able to show that they knew that was wrongful conduct with consciousness of wrongdoing then yes that's a 1512c2 offense and what is corruptly add in your view so corruptly adds the requirement that the defendant's conduct be wrongful and committed with consciousness of wrongdoing and this traces to the courts which the that left made no sense that which the left routinely do when they do direct actions, instructing people on how to deal with police in the aftermath of getting arrested, knowing they know damn well that they are causing an issue and that their intent is to cause an issue, which can be considered criminal. All right. It, it, so think about this. If I came to you, Coy, and I said, Coy, I want you to go over there and hit that guy in the head with a baseball bat. Yeah. And you do it. Did I make a conscious decision to tell you, to inform you, to go over there and do it? Yeah. Did you make a conscious decision to follow those orders and do it? It's, yeah. a, con it's, a, it's a conscious decision. So what does she it was mean? The intent. Yeah. We have to prove that it was a conscious decision. They did it. That's the conscious telling them to do it. That's a conscious yeah. decision. This lady's yeah. about to make my freaking eyes fall out. But it's also they're saying that it applies to the January 6th defendants because I don't know the cops let them in and like walk around like th this yeah. this specifically is you could use for the Q shaman right where the cops let them around and even let them into the the chambers right so like he didn't he didn't know he was doing wrong because like he was in there they were protesting yeah but they were in there but the cops were leading him around yeah how was he so, to know that he did anything wrong there he didn't so, have the intent of doing anything wrong. So if they did something wrong and the cops, cops let them in, which we saw the video footage of the cops, cops escorting them around, yep. wouldn't the cops be held accountable too for making the conscious decision to That's let another them question. in Why aren't they and lead them through arrested. the Capitol? Let's say the Capitol thing was really what they say it is, which I don't believe it is what they say it is. Right. The cops should be held accountable too for consciously letting them in, consciously removing the barriers, consciously walking them through, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm just using common sense. The here. cop it, uh, under under the same rationale, the cops should also be indicted for yep. obstruction as exactly. well. Exactly. Arthur Anderson, where the court said this is a term with deep historical roots, with a settled meaning, and that it connotes not just knowledge of your actions, which is you know the intent to obstruct in this case, but further requires that it be done corruptly. And just to give you a more concrete example of how this has played out in the January 6 prosecutions, I'd point to the jury instruction in the Robertson case, which we refer to and quote in part on page 44 of our brief. There, the jury was instructed that in order to show the defendant acted corruptly, the jury 
had to, to conclude that he had an unlawful purpose or used unlawful means or both, and that he had consciousness of wrongdoing. So I think that that is an encapsulation of what the jury is asked to decide on top of the mere intent to obstruct. Well, General, we, let me give you a, a, a specific example, which is, picks up but provides a little bit more detail with respect to one of the, the examples that Justice Gorsuch provided. So we've had a number of protests in the courtroom. Let's say that today, while you're arguing or Mr. Green is arguing, five people get up one after the other and they shout either keep the January 6th insurrectionists in jail or free the January 6th patriots. And as a result of this, our police officers have to remove them forcibly from the courtroom. And let's say we have to, del it delays the proceeding for five minutes. And I know that experienced advocates like you and Mr. Green are not going to be flustered by that, but, you know, in another case, an advocate might lose his or her train of thought and not provide the best argument. So would that be a violation of 1512C2? I think it would be difficult for the government to prove that. Why? At the outset, we don't think that 1512C2 picks up minimal, de minimis, minor interferences. We think that the term obstruct on its face connotes a meaningful uh, interference with the proceeding. Well, it doesn't blocks. say, I, I'm sorry, uh, it, uh, C2 does not refer just to obstruct. It says obstructs, influences, or impedes. Right, which according to that definition would include that Gold Star Father that interrupted the State of the Union address, which is an mm -hmm. official proceeding. Hmm. He could be sentenced to a felony and put in jail for 20 years if they wanted to. Not that they would, because the optics of that would look horrible, but they could. That's the thing. They could do it. That's the problem. Impedes is something less than obstructs. I think that this is a verb phrase where iteration was obviously afoot, and well, impedes okay. is also the, the thought the plain of meaning. You're, you're preaching the plain meaning uh, interpretation of this provision. The, the plain meaning of uh, impede in Webster's is to interfere with or get in the way of the progress of to hold up. In mm -hmm. the OED, it is to retard in progress or action by putting obstacles in the way. So it doesn't require obstruction. It requires the causing of delay. And if this So again, why wouldn't that fall within? Now, you could say, well, we're not going to prosecute that. And indeed, for all the protests that have occurred in this court, the Justice Department has uh, not charged any serious offenses. And I don't think any one of those protesters has been sentenced to even one day in prison. But Mm -hmm. Why isn't that a violation of 512, uh, uh, 1512C2? We read the actus reus more narrowly. Now, perhaps you could look at some of the broader dictionary definitions and adopt a broader understanding of the actus reus. Still, there would be the backstop of needing to prove corrupt intent. I think that's a stringent mens rea. Well, that's and in the not a corrupt of intent. They, they, uh, it's wrongful. Do you think it's not wrongful? I could imagine defendants in that scenario suggesting that they thought they had some protected free speech right to protest. They might say that they weren't they conscious do. of the fact that they weren't allowed to make that kind of brief protest in the court. And I think it's in a fundamentally different posture than if they had stormed into this courtroom, overrun the Supreme Court police, required the justices and other participants to plea, plea for their safety, and done so with clear well, evidence yes, of intent indeed. to obstruct. Absolutely. What happened on January 6th was very, very serious, and I'm not equating this with that. But we need to find out what, it, what are the outer reaches of this statute under your interpretation. Let me give you another example. Yesterday, protesters blocked the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco and disrupted traffic mm -hmm. in San Francisco. What if something similar to that happened all around the Capitol so that members, all the bridges from Virginia were blocked and members... Or even the fact that they firebombed federal court buildings in 2020 or even mm -hmm. overtook city blocks with armed militias and occupied them and none of them are facing any jail time for that like we have we've seen any of these these cases of portland and the Chaz and chop stuff be prosecuted has that even even made any national news they actually killed people in those places nope. right so like it's it's crazy to me that they, they, they make January 6th such a big deal, but they, the fact that we lost control over city blocks in 2020 to armed militias, an actual insurrection, is not a bigger deal. That's crazy to me. That's absolutely ah. crazy to me.
Wow. But I don't think we need to listen to more of that. I think it's pretty much what it is what it is. This is this is how they think. This is how they 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 believe it to be is that everything that they do is right because they don't have criminal intent. Mm -hmm. Right. They don't have corrupt intent, as they as they say in this. Right. So therefore, it's it's not the same, even though we can yeah, no. we can clearly bring up examples of what the problem is and what they're doing. Yeah, she's like, somebody call George Soros and ask him if this is OK. Well, no, it's it's it's, it's perfectly fine if they do it because George Soros said so. Right. And then now we've it, this is this is the reason why this is so important is because it, it ties into the the Donald Trump case. Right. Is that we have two tier system of justice where they're arguing on the Supreme Court that everything that the left, basically everything that the left does is OK because they don't have corrupt intent. Right. They're not mm -hmm. interrupting certain proceedings. Right. Or they didn't do it in a fashion that equals to January 6th, even though they've done much worse. And we can point to examples where they've done worse. Right. It's not the same. It's totally not the same. So. In, in his trial, wow. we, which we all know this is, is BS to begin with, they are having a hard time finding anybody to be impartial, right? They, they've, just, they've only just now found six jurors after two days. They've dismissed over 50 people because they, are not, they were not able to be impartial, right? So how, in, in, my, in my argument is that how can Donald Trump even get a fair trial as one of the most famous people on the planet, no less, in the United States as being a former president, how could you not find somebody that is completely impartial? I think it's absolutely impossible. They, they won because the media knew exactly what they were doing, man. So, they, you know, all this Donald Trump, all this stuff that's happening with these trials and all these indictments and all this stuff has been planned from the beginning. So they built up enough hate for yeah. the man to where... It, you know, it's like rolling a dice on finding someone that's actually going to be fair with the man. You yeah. know, even if they got somebody that was his supporter, it would be it wouldn't be impartial. You yeah. know what I mean? So because it's such it's such a divide in our country right now. You got what the left likes to call the MAGA Republicans or the, you know, the, the Patriot Republicans. And then you got the progressives yeah. on the other side. And there's a huge divide in our country. You're either supporting Trump or you're supporting Biden.